welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 26 of Ketober. I can't believe that we are counting down the final days of October and just a couple of days of these daily vlogs are left. But I'm excited because November is going to be super fun as well. But today is an exciting day. Both Cody and I reached new low weigh-ins during this Ketober series. So, pretty cool. I am down 8.2 pounds, which is phenomenal. That is insane to me. And then Cody is down like... 15 and a half pounds. He's showing me up by losing like twice as much weight as me, which isn't fair, but I'll take my eight pounds, okay? But boys lose weight so much easier than girls, and I hate it so much. But, oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. Today is Friday, and it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend, so we're probably gonna play lots of disc golf, maybe take the boat out, do some fishing. Although the fishing's not very good right now with all the rain we've had, the bite is hard. But we still may want to go get out on the water one afternoon just to say we did. I'm about to go take Bo to the bathroom, check the mail, and get this day started. Let's go! Yeah! I have been starving all morning and it's 12 o'clock now so I am going to go ahead and make myself my first meal of the day. It's just going to be an assortment of a couple of things because right now we don't have a ton in our fridge so just got to make do with what we got. So time to go make some lunch because I am so hungry. So far what we got going on for my first meal of the day is I just made myself some iced coffee with a little bit of leftover coffee I had. So just coffee, heavy whipping cream, and stevia. Literally what I do pretty much every single day. I've got my skillet heating up so I can use some of this bread cheese. I'm gonna fry up some of it. So the last time I used this, I got a bunch of questions about this bread cheese. It is not bread, it is all cheese. They call it bread cheese because it is baked to form a tasty crust similar to toasted bread. So that is why it's called bread cheese. So I'm just going to slice it up and throw that in a hot skillet to get that crispiness on it. I have this rotisserie chicken. I'm going to pull a little bit of chicken off of that. And then in the toaster oven, I have three and a half of those deer poppers from last night. I figured I'd leave Cody four because I'm a nice lady. All right, so I sliced up my bread cheese into strips and I'm just going to lay that down. One thing you have to make sure of is when you put the cheese in the pan, that the pan is really hot so it immediately starts to form that crust. You can hear it sizzling, that's perfect. It is time to flip them over, so I just flip them with a fork real quickly. And look at that crust on there. Oh wow, that looks delicious. Here is my first meal of the day. We got my fried bread cheese. This is the best stuff ever. I've got my deer poppers. And then just some pulled rotisserie chicken. I may dip this in a little bit of sugar-free barbecue sauce, but we may be out of it, so I'm not exactly sure yet. But yeah, this is my first meal of the day. And as always, my trusty steed is waiting right here, patiently waiting, hoping for a morsel because he's so underfed and starved. He lives a terrible life, I know. <laughs> I'll give him a treat. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Look at that little crooked lip. Oh my golly. Come here. Spin around. Sit. Gentle. Oh, so nice. Good boy. All right, time for mom to dig in. Cody just got home from work and I talked him into picking me and my Bobo up and we are going to check my P.O. box. Woo! So exciting. It is Friday. His work week is over. Thank goodness. And I haven't even eaten today, y'all. Yeah, he hasn't eaten. So, we're gonna go check my P.O. box and then head back home. He's gonna get something to eat. Then, I don't know what the rest of the day has in store for us. Only There's, nothing. Yeah, maybe we'll just be boring. But I don't know yet. We shall see. Look at Cody going over to the red box machine to pick out a movie for tonight. Oh yes, pick out that movie, Cody. Wow, pick out that movie. Look at this baby being sweet and laying in my lap. 
Oh! He isn't always the like sweetest, most cuddliest dog, so when he like lays on my lap like this, I have to cherish the moments because it doesn't always happen. What a cutie patootie though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's like, that's too much love. That is too much love, human. That's enough love. But I love it. I just am going to love you to death. Mm. Hey guys. Hey guys. It is now 6.15 and we've just been sitting on the couch for the past couple of hours and I've been working on the computer some. But we are both hungry. Yes. And Cody is slave driving me into making dinner. I don't, I'm gonna help. I don't wanna cook at all. I don't want to either. <laughs> I just want something. Why can't pizza be keto that I can just order it and it'll show up here and I don't do anything. I don't want to cook. You haven't heard of the keto little Caesars they just came out with? Oh, keto little Caesars? Yes. I mean, we should go get some. Some garlic bread? Yes, it's keto. Totally. Too. I mean, I'm just going to write keto on the box and then it's I've been in Jerry's is keto now too. <gasps> Obviously, we're gonna go get Keto Little Caesars and Ben and Jerry's. And Keto Brownies. Yeah. <gasps> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pouting. I don't wanna cook. I don't wanna spend money on food, but I'm lazy and it's Friday and I just want easiness. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and pout a little longer and see what we're going to have for dinner. I bought stuff for some sort of chicken broccoli Alfredo thing, but I don't know where the recipe is and I don't know what other stuff I was supposed to add into it. And yeah, I don't know. It's just a hot mess and a half right now. I just want Little Caesars. Can they make a keto pizza? Can anyone make a keto pizza, please? Okay, so tonight for dinner, we are going to make some sort of chicken Alfredo pasta using these healthy noodles from Costco. A bunch of y'all told me I need to try them, so y'all can decide if you wanna get them. So we are going to try these healthy noodles. They have one net carb, four grams of fiber in them. So you just open them up, rinse them with water, and then they're basically ready to go. So I think we're gonna heat up some Alfredo sauce and then add the noodles into them, let them get warm, add the chicken, and I mean, I think that's what we're gonna do. So we have this rotisserie chicken from Costco. We ripped off some chicken. Cody added some Alfredo sauce that I'd bought the other day into the pan. We're letting it warm up. We're going to add some chicken. I have some broccoli cooking in the microwave. Then we'll add the noodles and hopefully it tastes good. I just heated up a bag of these broccoli cuts and I think it's just basically chopped up broccoli. And we're gonna add that into the Alfredo and chicken. Cody's dumping in the noodles and we're basically just going to keep mixing everything together. Make sure it's warm and dinner will be ready to go. Let's hope this tastes good. Our Alfredo chicken noodle dinner is almost ready. Cody is adding a little salt and pepper and a little bit of this all-purpose seasoning with basil, oregano, garlic, and sea salt. So that is how we seasoned it. I mixed myself up a thing of raspberry Ultima to go with dinner. Make sure I am getting my electrolytes in. Remember, you can use the code, what is it? Ksalome15 maybe for some money off. I don't know, it's in the description down below. Here's a little peek to what it looks like. It looks good. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Guess Cody's going in for a try. Very thin, but uh, they don't have any kind of weird flavor to them. Awesome. We're buying these again. I only had a bite and we're buying them again. <laughs> Here is the completed dinner. It took us about 10 minutes to throw it all together, get it all warmed up. But it was quick and easy. And these one carb noodles that are sold at Costco called healthy noodles are actually pretty darn good. So time for us to go eat some food. Hey guys, so it's about seven o'clock now. We just finished eating our dinner. So those one carb noodles, the healthy noodles from Costco, I would give them a big thumbs up. They were a great replacement for noodles and at one net carb, you really can't go wrong with that. 
the alfredo and the chicken and the broccoli we added in made it taste quite delicious. Now that we've had our dinner, Cody and I are about to go lay on the couch and watch Jurassic World. I've been wanting to watch this movie ever since they released it in theaters and it's on our TV now. So, can't wait to go watch it. And what'd you get? What? Skyscraper. He picked out Skyscraper. I don't yeah. know what that is, but. It's the one with the rock in it. I'm sure most of the people on your channel know what it is. I don't watch movies, so I, have I don't never know about seen anything. It, so. We shall see. We'll give you an update. All right, movie time. Woo! Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to day 27 of Keytober. So it's about 10:45 this morning, and me, Bo, and Cody. We are here in Garland, Texas, coming to play a new disc golf course. I forgot to bring the battery in my camera, which is why I'm on my phone right now. Anyways, this disc golf course is very long, so we're going to go get in a good workout, and it's a beautiful day outside, so let's go. We are here at the Audubon Park disc golf course. And this is a very long course, so it's a total of 6,741 feet that we will be throwing. So, a long disc golf course, but it should be a lot of fun. We have a wild Cody trying to rescue his disc from this water source. Will he get it? Will he get it? No. Do it like a little girl. Nice 100 foot shot cat. So we just got home from disc golfing. It is 1.45. It took us about two hours to do the course and we walked three miles. So that was a very good morning exercise. My legs are tired. Cody is going to sit down and watch some football. I've got a blog post to do. I've got a video to edit. And to be completely honest, I don't want to do any of it. I want to lay down and do nothing. But there's work to be done. I am exhausted, but it is what it is. First things first, my little nugget back here is covered in mud. So he's got to get a bath. Do you want to get a bath? Do you want a bath? I know you're going to hate me, but look, your legs are muddy. Look at how muddy them legs are and your belly. Oh. It's bath time, bud. It is now three o'clock. Cody and I went on an intensive cleaning spree because our house is just a hot mess and a half. I swear we like clean it up and then tomorrow it just like explodes again. But we got laundry put away, we got all the dishes done, we cleaned the floors, like gave Bo a bath, like we did a lot. So now Cody's gonna sit down and watch a bunch of football and I'm gonna go do my work, but Cody, wants to make our favorite football game day dip. Y'all haven't tried this out yet. It's so You have good. to. So easy, so good. It, oh, I had to turn around, do a U-turn, go back to Kroger to get the items we needed to make this because I really wanted it. Yeah, we were almost home and he was like, I want that dip. So he did a U-turn and we went and, or he went and got all the ingredients. So now so. I'm about to whip it up and uh, start eating. It takes just a couple minutes to throw it together. So all it is is a block of cream cheese, can of Rotel, and this, well, any kind of hot ground sausage, and then of course. The pork rinds. The pork rinds. To go with it. To go with it. And it is amazing. So simple. Just cook the sausage, add in this. You don't even have to drain it. Add in this, stir it together, and then eat it. Eat it. You hear me? I hear you. <laughs> So, first things first, you get your sausage, squeeze your own out of there. Oh, squeeze that sausage. Make sure you don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Make sure you don't leave any sausage behind. Cat's filthy. Now you cook your sausage. Now you just 
heat that bad boy on up right there. Mm-hmm. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Hope you hear me. I don't know why, but I always have the hardest time opening up cans. So when this company, Kitchen Mama, reached out to me and asked me if they could send me their electric can opener, I was super pumped because it's so cool. So what you do is you just grab your little electric can opener, you slap it right there on top. Once you slap it on top like so, you just click the little button and it opens the can for you. Bo doesn't like it. He's like, what is going on? Go away, Bo doesn't like it. <laughs> He's crying. What is it, Bobo? What is it? It's, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's just a can opener. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right, Bo doesn't like the can opener. But just like so... The can is ready to go and it doesn't have the little sharp edges on it. So that is super awesome. Let me know if you're interested in this cool little electric can opener and I can get y'all a discount if you're interested in ordering and I can host a giveaway. So hopefully we can do a giveaway here in the future because I love to give back to y'all. All right, now that I have my meat all ready, all I'm do is just, well, attempt to throw this cream cheese in there. Just add in one whole block of cream cheese and it'll soften since it's in there with that warm sausage. So now that I have all the cream cheese softened up, I'll just mix it around until I mixed it all up. And now the final ingredient. Oh. And if they're not discontinuing this fire roasted uh, Rotel by your house, I strongly suggest you get it. They discontinued it, discontinued it at our Kroger. But it's so good. And it's so good. And we bought, uh, let's just say we bought a few cans. Because it was on sale, so we had to. Mmm. The perfect Saturday football dip. And this is for people that aren't keto either. You know, if you're having people over, just get them the chips with it. And, uh, yeah, this stuff's awesome. Which I'm sure a lot of y'all have actually probably cooked this before. And, uh, yeah, it's just awesome. I'm blowing off Bo's bite. He's about to bite my fingers. Aren't you? I know you are. Everyone, Here goes. everyone always says give Bo some, and y'all, this dog is spoiled. Bo, gentle. Hey, gentle. Don't make me snatch this away. Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> oh, I know that was good because I've been eating a lot of it. <laughs> good boy. Oh, that was it. Earlier we ran into Central Market because we wanted to try the Rebel Creamery ice creams. They have like six net carbs for the entire pint. So we got the mint chip one. So Cody is trying it right now. But first earlier he surprised me and shaved all the hair off his face. Where'd it go? Oh my God, it fell off. Would you look at that? I know. Isn't it crazy? He looks so different with a shaved face. Oh, wow. She won't stop touching my face. I'll show you the video where he surprised me about shaving it off because he did it and I didn't know. And he was like, cat. And I looked at him and it clicked. And yeah, look at naked faced Cody. Wow. Hi, babe. cream review is is that i've had like five spoonfuls is it good yes so very good this is the best keto ice cream i've ever had so it's by rebel creamery six net carbs per pint mint chip flavor Ooh, it's sweating a lot but wait hold on wait i'm not gonna drop it cody don't worry don't you drop it so four servings per container 160 calories 15 grams of fat Seven grams of sugar alcohols, three grams of fiber, so that's a total of one net carb per serving, right? Yeah. And two grams of protein. So this is very high in 
that. Crazy thing is it's creamy like real ice cream. The other ones that she's had are awful. I don't like them. This one, I, I can dig it. I want a bite. Let no. me try it. No, go get your own. No. I want to try it. Chicka chicka choo choo. That is really good. Oh my god. This boy sure does love his pumpkin spice latte. Look at that. He is my fall boy. He likes pumpkin spices just as much as his mom does. Oh yeah. How cute is that? I love it. Hey guys, so it is currently 9 o'clock at night, but I just wanted to come on here and chat for a second. So I have decided to combine day 26 and day 27 into a video. Yesterday and today, I've just been feeling a little tired and I haven't like wanted to pick up my camera a ton just because I feel like I have been working so, so hard lately and it's the weekend. Your girl just needed a little bit of a break. I didn't film a ton yesterday and I didn't film a ton today. So I figured I'd just combine those and turn them into one long vlog. So thank you guys for understanding that. I'm sorry I missed a day of Keytober, but you're getting it in one long video. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm-hmm.